Jim Lloydon and uh, I'm age 75. I started bike riding in Darwin when I was 37 years of age. I was unfit and uh, the guy across the road actually started me at a bike. I thought, yeah, that sounds like a good idea and I bought a bike to ride to work. And I was riding to work one day and a guy come along and he said, uh, why don't you come out on Sunday and have a race? No, I thought, no, I couldn't race. He said, yeah, you'll be okay. So anyway, I turned up and uh, we had, a, it was a criterion and uh, I got lapped by most of them, but I beat a couple too and I really enjoyed it. So that was the start. Then I joined the club and bought some gear and eventually got a better bike and I was off. feel good because my uh, up to that point my main activity was probably playing snooker and pool and, and, and drinking with mates and that then it was like a, like a life change where all of a sudden the bike became the focus and getting fit and turning up for a race on Sunday and that was that was my focus then. swim much and I got on a bike and I just I felt good on the bike and, and I thought I was pretty good at it. Uh, at one stage I was averaging probably 400 a week and uh, on the odd occasion probably get a 500 in. I competed every week, not every week, sometimes I'd have a break but mostly every, in the old days we used to uh, race till October then we'd sort of stop and have a break but uh, as the years gone by now it seems to be racing every week. When I, not long after I started riding, I did the uh, Catherine to Darwin, it was, it was 300 miles. I was road B grade and I finished right up near the top and that was a pretty much the highlight. I've been hit twice by cars, I've had bottles thrown at me, I've had pies thrown at me, I've been abused, I've been spat on, uh, I've been run off the road. Yeah, I've had lots of problems with cars, but mostly for what I'd have to say, 90% of car drivers are good. So in my, what, nearly 40 years of riding, I, I, you know, I haven't had all that many incidents, I would, would say. But I've had some bad ones. I was with a group of guys and uh, there were some pedestrians on the side of the road and uh, I was, I seen them and I was watching them and that they had their back to the road. Uh, they looked like they weren't going to step out. But when I was almost to reach them, they turned and stepped straight out in front of me and there was riders beside me and I really had nowhere to go. So I, I slammed on the brakes and trying to avoid them and I crashed. I went flying through the air. I was sort of half unconscious but the ambulance come and I went into the ambulance and then I sort of lost consciousness. So I'm not sure what happened. But I got to the hospital and then I had uh, multiple fractures of six ribs and uh, broken uh, scapula, punctured lung, and a sh separated shoulder which needed to be operated on and put back together. And I spent eight days in hospital and, and then it was a slow recovery. I got operated on my shoulder and slowly I couldn't wait to get back on the bike. And after about, it took me three months before I got back on the bike. And then even when I got back on the bike, it was a very slow recovery. I, I, my confidence was gone and I had a slowly, I'm still kind of coming back from it, even although it's almost two years. It's still, I haven't, still don't think I've totally recovered as what I was. I'm still riding okay, but somehow I just haven't come back as good. I suppose the fact I'm 75 too doesn't help, but. I just haven't been able to come back to the same level I was. I've always felt comfortable with bike riders. In fact, I don't think if I didn't know bike riders, I doubt if I'd really have any friends. They seem to be the, the only friends I've got as people who ride bikes. 
to keep riding and keep doing events and keep going as absolutely as long as I can. Incredible for his age. Um, he's got a lot of stamina. I uh, can recall times when we've ridden about 125 k's in a day and uh, after 80 k's he's pulling me home. He's, so he's very strong even though uh, he's 10 years older than I am. He's, uh, he's a piss poor rider actually. <laughs> no, he goes well, he goes very well for an old bloke. He does a lot longer rides than I do and he's a lot fitter than I am these days. And uh, like, he went out and did 98 yesterday, well, I dream about doing that. My son Danny, after, I don't know, 30 odd years, He's decided to get back on the bike and he's loving it too, so... And, and I feel good about that because I've always wondered why I've never really inspired any of my family to, to ride a bike. But there it is, Danny's... Danny's making a comeback. I think it is the future. I think it is the future. There'll be more and more people riding bikes. It's a cheap transport, it's a good transport, and it's a fast transport. And if the infrastructure's there, there'd be just literally thousands of people who'd ride their bikes to work. The only thing that stops people now is the, is the roads, the danger, you know, uh, the traffic. But eventually there'll be, there will be bikeways, there will be better bikeways, and they'll separate them eventually, where bikes will be one area, cars another, and that'll be the future. It's a social thing. It's uh, you ride together but then you socialise and you have a coffee and you have a talk and that's all part of it. That's what makes it so good. It's not only the, the riding and the exercise but the social aspect.